I know we haven't gone into detail on Photoshop, but this will be a really basic introduction on using filters. A lot of the interface is going to be similar to Illustrator, so it shouldn't be too confusing for you. And just kind of if you get stuck, ask me and remember, pause the video and do one step at a time. So what we're going to do is I have my picture in Photoshop. How do you do that? You just drag your picture onto the Photoshop icon, right? You can, if Photoshop's um, icon's open like this, I would just drag the picture right on a Photoshop icon and it'll pop up into Photoshop for me. And I just grabbed a picture of Gal Gadot, right? She played Wonder Woman this year since we're doing comic book. I thought, you know, why not put the put Wonder Woman in here? So this is what we need to do. You have your picture in, hopefully. Now what we need to do is we need to unlock this so it's not a background layer. You can see it's locked and it says background. I'm going to double click and say, and then instead of layer name zero, we're going to say um, posterize. Okay. Then I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to command J, J for jump. And posterize copy right on the words. I'm going to double click there and I'm going to call that lines for later and I want to hide or make invisible the lines layer and I want to highlight and come back down to my posterize layer next I'm gonna crop the image a little bit my you may or may not need to do this but I have a lot of extra stuff here on the left and the right that I don't need so I'm gonna crop I'm gonna take my crop tool this one right here right you can roll over it with the mouse and the word crop should pop up in a minute and I'm just going to drag in a little bit so that if I had wasted space in my picture, I eliminated a little bit like that and I hit return. Now you may or may not need to do that. Just be intelligent about it and crop it to your own needs so that you focus on your subject matter. All right, I'm going to go back to my selection tool so I don't have crop. Next thing we need to do is the old school way of applying filters, filters are going to change the way the picture looks. The old school way of doing it was to apply a filter directly to the picture. The problem with that was if you change your mind later, you didn't like it, you couldn't change it. So Photoshop added a function, uh, smart objects or smart filters. And that allows you to preserve the original image, add a filter to it. Then if you don't like the filter, you can change the settings. So that's what we need to do we need to right click on the layer and we need to convert it to a smart object and we could tell it's a smart object because there's this little icon here in the bottom right hand corner next thing we're going to do at the top we're going to come up to filter and filter gallery and we're going to pick artistic and poster edges so we have artistic we're going to click on poster edges we want to change the edge thickness to zero, the edge intensity till about eight, and posterization to zero. We want this kind of poster cartoon comic book look. Now mine has a lot of kind of noise on top. Yours may or may not have that. If it doesn't have all these black specks, don't worry about it. It actually looks better if it doesn't have it, but I wanna show you the process either way. I'm gonna click okay, so I like zero, eight, zero, on poster edges and click OK. And it's going to apply the filter. You can see now there's this little box here in the bottom right called Smart Filters and this first filter gallery. And I could turn the eyeball off to go back to the original, turn it back on to see what it is. And I can double click on it. And if I wanted to change the settings, I can change the settings if I didn't like what I did. So that's the beauty of the Smart Filter. Right now it's a little intense, all right? So we want to have less of the posterization show through. So over here to the right, there's a blending option. So I'm gonna double click on that. And I want the filter to only be about 70%. And I'm gonna click OK. Next, we want to add a little cutout look. So we're gonna go back up to filter, filter gallery. This time we're gonna click cut out. And we want to 642 for our setting, 642. That's gonna give us even more of that comic book look if you look over here on the left. And then I'm gonna click okay. 
once again, and the newest one goes on top. So once again, I'm going to double click on the option for that new filter, and I want it to be about 60-70%. Again, we're bringing it down just a little bit. We're going to come back up, another filter, this time filter gallery again, but instead of artistic, well actually, you know what, I'm going to cancel out of that. We want to go filter and go straight into pixelate, and we want to pixelate, and we want to pick color halftone. That's going to give us little dots like comic, old school comic books have. So filter, pixelate, color halftone, click on that. We want the max radius to be six, and then all of your four channels to be 45. So six, 45, 45, 45, 45. Adjust that and click OK. You're gonna see it's gonna have this kind of blurry look to it. It adds these little dots, but it's a little blurry. So I'm gonna go color halftone, go to our options on the right, I'm gonna double click. And we have these blending modes, all right? To make that a little less blurry, we're gonna change it from normal to soft light, soft light, click on soft light. Then bring the opacity down and we'll go 70% and click okay. So now we're starting to get this posterized, this kind of comic book look with a very minimal amount of effort. And you can turn filters off one at a time, right? back on you can turn smart filters all the way off at once there and then you can change all the settings by clicking on the names or just opacity on the right that's the beauty of smart filters it allows us to apply these changes but then be able to come back and tweak them later next tutorial we're going to finish up by adding a little contrast with some oh actually no we don't even have to do the next tutorial let's just do it on this one let's just keep going Let's uh, turn this lines layer on, click on it, right click on your lines layer, convert to smart object. Then we're going to go up to the filter gallery, so filter, filter gallery, and we want to pick stylize and glowing edges. And our glowing edges options, we want one, four, and we want a lot of smoothness, so we're going with 15. We're going to click OK. It's going to look weird at first, but trust me, at the end, this little white highlight line and stuff is really going to accentuate and look like it's drawn or sketched out. Um, we need to add a little another filter. So we're going to go Filter, Filter Gallery, Sketch. And under Sketch, we're going to choose torn edges oh hang on, let me cancel this really quick what you want to make sure though first is you guys are probably going to have black as your foreground white as your background we need to hit this little arrow right here to swap it so it's white and black before we do filter filter gallery and sketch okay that white needs to be on top now we're going to do the torn edges and we want it to be three so we can see that black line, 15, and 18. We're really looking for this black line, okay? That's going to add it, look like it's sketched. We're going to click OK. Then we're going to add a little bit of a blur. So that's also under filter. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can keep it at 1%. You can uh, adjust the number a little bit to your liking, but I'd keep it at one and I'd click OK. Right now it's looking kind of weird. It's just white with a black line. So we need the white to go away and the black to stay. So with our layer highlighted, we're going to come up here to where it says normal and we're going to select multiply. That's going to make the white disappear and it's going to give us a hard black edge around our comic book character. So here, look, I'll show you what I mean. If I turn the lines off, right, look at like the eyes or the bracelet or around the arm. When I turn it back on, you can see it kind of adds that dark edge around it a little bit. 
adds kind of a little more of a sketch look. And there we go, F few easy steps, several little filters, but it can convert your pictures to give this kind of comic book look, relative ease.